Hello dear students, myself Mr. Pramod Murari, Assistant Professor, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering, HIT Nidasosi. In the small video, we will find the expression for unbalanced phase voltages VA, VB, VC in terms of symmetrical components VA0, VA1, VA2. To find these expressions, we know that VA is the sum of zero sequence voltage of phase A, positive sequence voltage of phase A, negative sequence voltage of phase A. VB is the sum of zero sequence voltage of phase B, positive sequence voltage of phase B, negative sequence voltage of phase B and VC is the sum of zero sequence voltage of phase C, positive sequence voltage of phase C and the negative sequence voltage of phase C. If we observe the first equation, the RHS part is only in terms of phase A and hence we have, we, we have to find the RHS part of second equation as well as third equation only in terms of phase A. To find that, we must know that in zero symmetrical components, we have the relation as VA0 is equals to VB0 is equals to VC0. It means that wherever VB0 and VC0 will appear, I can substitute it as VA0. Further, I also have the positive symmetrical components over here. So I can express VB1 as well as VC1 in terms of VA1 by the use of A operator. If I multiply by A square to phasor VA1, that will take a rotation of 240 degree in anti-clockwise direction and it will reach a position of VB1. So I can write VB1 as A square VA1. If we multiply A2 phasor VA1, that will take a rotation of 120 degree in anti-clockwise direction and will reach a position of VC1 and hence I can express VC1 as A into VA1. If you observe the negative symmetrical components, I can express VC2 as well as VB2 in terms of VA2 by the use of A operator. If I multiply by A2 phasor VA2 that will take a rotation of 120 degree and it will reach the position of VB2 and hence I can write VB2 is equals to A into VA2. If I multiply by A square, if I multiply A by A square 2 phasor VA2 that will take a rotation of 240 degree in anti-clockwise di uh, direction will reach the position of VC2 and hence I can write VC2 as A square VA2. So if we substitute, if we substitute all those expressions in, in the expression for VB as well as VC, I can find VB is equals to VA0 plus A square VA1 plus A VA2 and VC as VA0 plus A VA1 plus A square VA2. So here in, in these all three equations, at the RHS part, VA0, VA1, VA2 are common. If I take common outside, the expression will become VA, VB, VC is equals to 1, 1, 1, 1, A square, A, 1, A, A square into VA0, VA1, VA2. If I multiply the, the two matrices which are present at the RHS side, then I will get the expression as same as the previous one. So here, this is the final expression for the unbalanced phase voltages VA, VB, VC in terms of symmetrical components VA0, VA1, VA2. Further, I can extend this. I can write this expression in terms of unbalanced line currents also. So in place of V, if I write I, I can write the expression for unbalanced line currents at the LHS side. Thank you.